The Coon Creek girls all had flower names, Lily Mae, Rosie, Violet, and Daisy, and we were very proud of that because we'd done that ourselves. Mr. Larry didn't have anything to say about that. So, uh, we, well, we didn't even ask him, but then we got the idea, why not call ourselves the Wildwood Flyers? Well, uh, we, we want to keep that flyer thing going. We liked that. So, uh, we went to Mr. Larry straight as we could go and asked, could we call ourselves Wildwood Flyers? We had not yet been named. And uh, we had not yet been placed on the air. We'd been there two weeks rehearsing in Covington and getting ready. And we were liking the sounds we were making. So uh, we asked him that. And he said, girls, I, don't you think, uh, he said, a more country name would be more suitable. So he said, how about concrete girls? Anybody hearing that name would know what it wants without hearing you what kind of music you would be playing. So uh, we said, uh, well, all right, but we don't come from Coon Creek. And he said, well, that's still a good country name. You don't have to come from Coon Creek. And I found out you had to, to lie and fabricate a little, you know, in the business. And that, you had to learn to politic around it. And that part of it I had never had to do, and I didn't care too much about that. But uh, he said, uh, on hearing that name, they would know, anybody would know what kind of music you played without having to hear you even. And so Coon Creek Girls, we became. That was 1937.